Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. So I did a video a few weeks ago on showing you guys how to connect your camera to either your Echo Show or your TV using your Fire Stick. And I had several people comment that they had devices that used to work in the Alexa app, but really just didn't seem to work anymore. For example, somebody said that they had a Eufy doorbell and they had the notification turned on to announce when motion was detected. And that used to work and now for some reason that does not work anymore. Well, I figured that I would show you guys how to fix that because I also had that issue myself doing some of these videos for you guys. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to load up my Amazon Alexa app. Okay, now that we have the app loaded up at the very bottom where devices is, we're gonna tap on devices. And then for myself, I'm gonna go ahead and click on cameras. And then what I wanna do is, um, for example here, we're gonna click on the Arlo front door camera. Now what I'm gonna do is in the top right corner, there's a little trash can. I'm gonna click on the trash can and I am going to delete the camera from the Alexa app. Now everything is still set up in the Arlo app and everything's working fine in the Arlo app, but I want to get it working and re-synced back up within the Amazon app right here. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that one. I can also go ahead and delete, we'll just say the Arlo Pro 2. I'll delete that one too. And then I'll come down here and let's do also the Arlo Pro 3. Go ahead and delete that one. Now, another way that you can do this is at the very bottom where clicked on devices, you can click on more, you can go to skills. I'm gonna tap on where it says your skills and then I can search for the skill that I wanna do. So for example here, I can go down and find the Arlo skill and I can disable the skill. Now disabling the skill and then re-enabling the skill will re-sync up your entire account, but you're gonna to need to know your password, which a lot of people don't remember their passwords. I have to look mine up all the time. So I'm gonna back out of here. Oh, let's go to devices at the bottom. Now that I have removed those three Arlo cameras, up in the top right corner, I'm gonna click on the plus side, click on add devices, scroll all the way down to the bottom, click on other, and then discover devices. So what this is going to do is it's going to reach out to all of the skills that are enabled in the device and check to see if there are any updates or anything new. And it's also gonna check if you've got, say, a new device that you're trying to sync up with Alexa. It's going to check for any of those devices too. All right, look at that. It found the three devices that I deleted and now it is resynced to these up. So if there were any routines or any kind of notifications, you might have to go back through and reset those up. Say if you had a routine that every time a motion sensor was triggered that it would do something and say that motion sensor lost connectivity or wasn't working anymore, you may have to go back in, delete the motion sensor, and then re-add the motion sensor as that trigger. So you might have to kind of refresh your routines if you have those set up, but that's essentially it. So I'm gonna click next on here. It's gonna walk me through the setup device. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Arlo front door. We're gonna set this up. Yes, I wanna add it to a group. I wanna add it to my front door group and we're gonna say add to group. So it's gonna walk me through with the rest of these here, but that is pretty much it. Next, I'm gonna work on a video on how to completely clean up all of your devices that are in your Alexa app, because over the years, you might have devices that either don't exist anymore or just complicating things. So in the next video that I'm working on, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys how to just wipe everything out and resync it all again. So stay tuned for that one. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. As always, don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.